uh, another video. I know it's been a while since my last one, but there you go. And today, so recently, uh, we've been allowed to play rugby again. So today I'm going to take you through what's in my bag that I use for training. So we'll start off in the main compartment. And we have a English and Irish, British and Irish Lions uh, waterproof jacket that I use when it's shite weather. We also have a pair of not even yeah. I have a pair of joggers that I put on. So say after training my shorts and everything's absolutely disgusting. I'll quickly change into them. Um, I also have a uh, head over. This is used well COVID for COVID, so I'll wear that over when I pistol train. Um, what else do we have? Uh, next up, we've got my calf sleeves. So if my calves are in well in agony after training or something or I feel as if I've twinged something, I'll put these on straight away. And this helps with recovery. Highly recommend you get these from Amazon as well. Uh, next we've got this. Um so in this little bag here we've got uh, my gum shields, so I've got the training one and a game one. The training one's slightly th thinner as the game, and the game one's thicker as well. I'll try to do that back up there. Here we go. And then we've also got a scum cap. I'm not a forward, I am a back, I'm either a winger or a full back. And yeah, unfortunately I've had way too many like hits to the head. So I wear this to uh stop that from happening. I uh, mainly wear it for uh I don't know. I I to be fair I barely wear it at the minute, but if I feel like actually, actually I'm gonna need to wear it then Yeah, I'll wear it. Uh, normally, I've got my shoulder pad, like my, uh, I don't know how you say it, it's like my padded uh, th thermal in there, but I, I don't know where that is, so I'll find it eventually. Next, we've got not one, but two pairs of boots. So these boots are my training boots. Um, they're really comfortable and I would highly recommend them. Um, although you might want to put inner soles on them because, uh, yeah, they do get a bit uncomfortable. In fact, no, these are, yeah, these are my training ones. Um, if I'm doing like a bit of speed practice or playing touch or something like that, um, these are mainly made for the summer, as you can see, uh, plastic studs, and they're very, very light as well. And next, we have my other pair of training boots. Uh, I do have my game boots, however, they're in my cage, and that is a cage, and I can't get to them at the minute. But these are my other training boots. Oh, sorry, these are my other training boots. Um, yeah, as you can see, they're not very clean. These are mainly for winter or if we're doing more like uh, passing day stuff or with the grounds wet, as you can see, because of the metal studs. My game boots, um, if I've got a picture of them, I'll include it. But these ones are Adidas, and these are probably like the most comfortable pair of boots that I own, like 100%. Um, yeah, uh, I've also got my rugby ball, that norm that's normally in there as well, as well as water bottle, most important thing is this, 
So, must, well, maybe wondering what I wear for training. So, first things first, I have my uh, training top, my Salisbury rugby training top. I do, well, haven't, I do play for them. Uh, haven't, I've played one or two games, but haven't played a proper a uh, few more yet because of my job I had to go away. I also wear it. <clears throat> my shorts. I don't Probably like the most comfortable pair of shorts I own. They've also got a rubber thing so if you do tuck your shirt in it sticks or well you basically can't have these pulled down. And also Salisbury rugby. Last but not least my hoodie this is one of the most comfortable hoodies I own um, I'm not wearing it right now because I was already wearing this jumper when I decided to record but yeah one of the best and most comfortable hoodies I own and that is it for my uh, rugby kit like I said I will do an updated video when I can find my pads and um, Oh, I also have a thermal in here as well. It's cold for when it's cold, but that hardly gets worn. Yeah, that's it for all my rugby stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. It is a short one to be honest, but I well, I've had something going on at home, so I haven't been able to record. So this is me getting back into it basically. So thank you very much.